Welcome to what I hope is a comprehensive uh, tutorial of how to get the quest and the hand tracking working in Unity in the editor. So the very first thing that we need to do is set up the quest and make sure that it is in developer mode as well as has the right hardware. Before you even connect your quest to the PC, we don't want to use the cable that came with it. We need to actually have one of these USB 3.0 two USB-C cables and a six foot one is what I'm using and this will allow for Oculus Link to work seamlessly. And the way that you can tell that your Quest is correctly connected to the PC is by going into the Oculus app and seeing the devices and seeing that there is green all around. If there is a yellow icon saying that there's an issue then you don't have the right cable and I'm sorry and you just have to yeah, you gotta buy it by the right one. Next, we want to go into our Oculus app on our phone. So you want to download the actual app. I'm going to start a screen recording in a second. Okay, we are here on the Oculus app. I'm going into it and we need to go into settings, which is in the bottom right hand corner. And we want to make sure that our Bluetooth is on uh, and then if it is, then we can connect to our Oculus Quest. So hopefully you're connected. Next, go into more settings. And we want to go into developer mode. From here, just turn that on. So you should be seeing blue. Next, we want to go into the Quest. So let me start our screen recording. Okay, next we want to be in the Oculus Quest home and we need to enable hand tracking because right now it's only tracking the controllers. So we need to go into settings and into see all, go into the device and scroll down to hands and controllers. From here, we just enable that. Once you once you've done that, then, you know, hands are working and they're so cool to see them actually just move with your hands is incredible. The final thing we need to do in here is we don't actually communicate with the PC when we're in Quest Home mode. We need to actually turn the Quest Home into the Oculus Rift S Home. And we do that with the, let's see, device down at the bottom, enable Oculus Link. So this is actually what we need to be in anytime we're developing. So let's enable it. So PC is not detected. Uh, I have to disconnect. Uh, I think it has something to do with me recording right now. I have to disconnect and then I'll, I will reconnect and we will reconvene. So now that I've plugged it back in, I'm getting a prompt that's saying enable Oculus Link Beta. And this allows access to Rift apps while in the Quest uh, and as long as it's plugged into the PC. And you can always disable the Oculus Link by going back to your Quest apps anytime from settings. So I'm enabling it, which now, you know, if I am bringing up the screen shower, you know, I have the uh, the Oculus Home and all of, all of the stuff, um, you know, here available to me. So this is great. So let me exit out of this. We are back on the PC, but now we need to make sure that we have the right Unity integration. Let's get started. First off, we need to you know, open up Unity Hub. And let's create a new one. And I'm working in 2019.4.3 F1, which is supposed to be a long-term support, so this should hold up over time, ideally. And let's call this, um, you know, Oculus Quest, Quest, hand tracking. Let's create that. While it's cl uh, creating everything, let's go into getting started developing with Oculus. Go ahead and check this out. But we also want to lead into uh, the actual hand tracking part of it. And then finally, 
uh, we want to go what, what would be in the develop. Uh, we want to do the integration, Unity integration archive. So let's go ahead and reload that. Go into downloads. Go into Unity. Unity integration. And this is where it gets hung up because you can get it from the Unity Asset Store, but there are issues with it. So you actually want to get the Unity Integration Archive page. All I'm going to do is just drag and drop it in. I am using Oculus Integration version 17. Okay, so everything is loaded, but we are being prompted with this update Oculus Utilities plugin. And this is just, it's the recommended, and you know what? We did it right. Yes. And we're going to restart, and we're going to say upgrade. And restart. All right, we have reset. We are, uh, you know, ready to go into a scene. Let's go into the project. Let's isolate all the different scenes. Let's go to hand interaction train scene. And with any luck, we can press play. And here we go. You're seeing it. Let's also bring up this. So this is what I'm seeing in the Oculus. How exciting is that? All right, let's exit out of this. Let's stop the play. And the final things that I want to go over are, one, the platform that it's in right now is PC. When you build out, you have to go to Android. You'll have to do some research to find out how to uh, get all the settings right for the Android and player settings. But currently, the way that it stands, I didn't have to do any setup for the player settings to get it to run in runtime, which is amazing. And the last thing is that uh, make sure you are following the developer rules for Oculus. So one of the things about hand tracking is it's developer right now, and you can't publish anything unless the hand tracking uh, is complemented by controllers, that you can do everything with controllers that you can do with hand tracking. So that is a limitation currently for developers, but uh, you know beyond that, like it's just an incredibly exciting time, and uh, I hope everything worked out for you. I hope the versions haven't changed too much, and uh, best of luck. Hope it was helpful, and I will check you later.